Hey guys, once again, I am back with one of my new video where I'm gonna show you how to make a sticky header in your Divi theme. Well, in the previous video, I have explained you how to make a custom header in your Divi theme. If you haven't watched that video, go ahead. Link has been provided in the video description or you can directly go to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash Saddam Qasim and you can get that video. So let's go ahead and we can make a sticky header in your Divi theme so that it will be easy for anyone to check it onto the mobile phone as well as onto the desktop version. So let's get started. This is one of my client's website that I have recently developed on Divi theme. My client needed this type of header where the live radio player should be placed on the right hand side and hence I made this custom header to fulfill his needs. This is basically a podcasting website. I have made this custom header with the help of Divi theme builder and if you don't know how to make a custom header in Divi theme, then you can check my previous video. The link has been provided in the video description. So right now, if you can see here, when I scroll the page, the header goes up. So let's make this header sticky. The process is really very simple. So we need to install a free plugin. Simply go to add new under plugins and in the search box, we need to type sticky menu. Here we go. So the first plugin is from Mark Senf, sticky menu or anything on a scroll. Just install this plugin. Alright, so the plugin is activated. Now let's go ahead to the Divi and then we can click on theme builder from where we have created the custom header. Okay, now let's edit this global header. So this is the custom header that we had created. Now, as this entire element has been placed in this common section, so we need to click on this gear icon on the blue tab. So the section settings comes up. Now you need to jump onto the advanced. My idea is as all the elements have been placed in this section. So if we can make this section as sticky, all the elements which are already placed inside this section will also be sticked inside the header. So here under the CSS ID and classes, we can add a CSS ID. This could be any CSS ID that you would like to write. In my case, I'm just typing like a sticky header. But make sure there should not be any space in between the CSS ID. So a sticky header is the CSS ID that we have created. Now let's save it and then we can save this custom header. All right, now let's close it. All saved changes. Okay, now as we had already installed that sticky menu plugin, so under the settings, we can find that plugin settings. Let's click on it. Now in this box, sticky element, you need to type that ID that we have created, sticky header. Make sure to add a hashtag at the starting, otherwise it will not work. Now let's save settings. Okay. And it's time to check the website into a new tab. So I'm just opening in a new tab. Now let's scroll down. So you can see the header is sticky. But still we are facing one issue that the content is overlapping to this header. So let's go ahead and we can figure it out. Go back to the sticky menu setting and then click on advanced settings. Now Z index, you need to type 99999. So Z index would be 99999. That's all you have to set and then save settings. So this Z index value will put the header at the top of all the elements. Now let's go ahead and we can refresh the home page once again. All right, now let's scroll down. Here we go. So you can see the complete section. I mean the header is now sticked at the top. So in this way, you can stick any element on your Divi based website with just one CSS ID and a free plugin. If this video was helpful, please do subscribe, like and comment. Thank you very much.